So our next situation here is that we have COVID-19 testing. And again, whenever you deal with this, I really want us to look at just the totals first because the stuff in the middle can get a little bit confusing there. So um, it says that they tested a total of 1,000 people. So we're going to dump 1,000 into that bottom right corner right there. So uh, the people with symptoms were 50. 50 of the people were known to have coded COVID, making 950 because they have to add up to 1,000, the people that do not have COVID-19. Now we're looking at the actual accuracy of the tests. So it says 80% um, had a correct test. So um, I'm going to take 80% of 50, which is 40, and 80% of, um, sorry, that's of the people known to have the disease are going to have 80%. They're going to have a correct test. The people without a disease are going to have a 99% test accuracy rate. So um, if you do not have COVID, that means you should test negative, making 40, 940.5, 99% of the um, 950 right there. Um, you want to keep those percentages not rounded up or down right now so that the percentages later are a little bit better. Or sorry, these aren't percentages. Technically, these are, uh, you want to keep those numbers uh, not rounded up or down. Um, so it says, once we fill out the table there, again, I just added straight down, added straight down to get the total there. It says, what's the probability of having COVID if someone received a positive test result? So that means I'm looking at the positive chart. The people that have COVID are 40. The total people that test positive is 49.5, making that division, that probability, 0.81. What's the probability of having COVID if someone received a negative test result? So I'm looking in the negative test section. Uh, the people that tested positive are 10. The total that tested negative are um, 950.5. So that division there gives you 0 0.01. How many test results are false positives? How many are false negatives. So a false positive is where you test positive, but you are actually negative. So somebody that does not have COVID-19, but they tested positive would be 9.5. And somebody who a false negative would mean that you are testing negative, but you do have COVID. So that's not great. So if you have COVID, but you have a negative test, that would be 10 total people.